We're taking the top 10 e-commerce platforms and comparing the pros and the cons of each of them. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one of these you should use to build your online store. But stick around till the end of the video because I have the hookup, I have special discounted prices for all these platforms that I'm gonna be sharing with you. And at the end of this video, I'll announce the winner, what I personally think is the best e-commerce platform right now. And right now is the perfect time to start an online store. Last year, there was over $800 billion in e-commerce sales. And because of everything that's been happening, e-commerce sales have been growing like crazy. Last year, they grew by 40%. They went from 12% two years ago to 16% last year, and they're going to keep growing. The thing that's really interesting about the statistic is there's still so much room for e-commerce to grow. So if you think e-commerce is the future, this is the perfect time to build an online store. So let's start with Shopify. Let's go over the pros and the cons. And this is probably the most most popular e-commerce platform for successful e-commerce entrepreneurs. Now, this isn't overall the most popular platform. We'll be talking about WooCommerce later, which is actually the most popular platform, but Shopify seems to be the most popular platform amongst successful e-commerce entrepreneurs. A lot of my friends, a lot of the people that I know in this space, 99% of them are using Shopify to build their own online store. And there's a lot of really good reasons for that. One of which is that it's built from the ground up with e-commerce in mind. Unlike some of the other platforms we'll be talking about later, from the beginning, Shopify was about selling things online. They also have a ton of apps, plugins, and integrations, so it makes it really easy if you wanna connect other services, or if there's something that Shopify doesn't have out of the box, you can add an app or some kind of integration and pretty much get your store to do just about anything you want. They also have beautiful templates and it's really quick and easy to set up. In fact, I did a video where I set up a Shopify store in just four minutes. Now. There are some pretty big cons with Shopify as well. The biggest one being at $29.99 a month, it's a little bit pricey. Now this price is actually pretty standard for professional e-commerce platforms, but there are cheaper options later in this video that we're gonna be talking about. But one of the good things about Shopify is they do have a 14 day free trial. I'll put a link up here and down below to that. But if you're looking for a cheaper option, stay tuned. We'll be talking about WooCommerce in, in just a few minutes. But next up is Squarespace. And Squarespace is great if you wanna build a beautiful website, but it's not the best website for creating an online store. Now, if you are a band or a podcast and an online store is not the main feature of your website, then Squarespace might be a really good option. But from the ground up, Squarespace was built to make beautiful websites, not so much for their e-commerce functionality. So if you are looking to be a professional e-commerce seller, I would stay away from Squarespace. Next up is GoDaddy and do not use GoDaddy to build your e-commerce website. It is overpriced and honestly, I think they just trick a lot of people. It's a good place to go buy a domain name, but I think they trick a lot of people to upgrade and host a website with them and then host their e-commerce site with them. Do not go with GoDaddy for your online store. Wix is another one of those websites I highly recommend avoiding. It's not built for e-commerce. Yes, they added an e-commerce functionality to it and it's, it's a good, Website builder, if you wanna build a general website, I actually think there's better options out there, but it's okay. And it seems like a lot of middle-aged people tend to get tricked into using this to build their website and add on e-commerce functionality. Do not go with Wix. Big Cartel is another platform a lot of people are talking about. And the big pro with Big Cartel is it's free. Now, that's the only really big pro in my opinion. And something to keep in mind, it's free for the first five products that you add. And Big Cartel is made for artists and makers, that's their whole slogan. So I think if you're an artist and you're trying to sell one-off pieces of art or different things like that, then Big Cartel might be a really good option. But if you're looking to sell your own product and you're really looking to build an e-commerce store, I honestly just don't think they have enough features. But I will say it's pretty easy to make a simple small store and since your first five products are free, you can always test this one out, but I personally would never recommend this because they just don't have enough integrations, enough apps, and enough features for you to be able to scale your business. But for artists or makers, Big Cartel might be a good option. Another platform that a lot of people ask me about is Big Commerce. And Big Commerce used to be pretty decent. They have a lot of really good built-in features, but one of the big cons with Big Commerce is they have selling limits. If you sell more than $50,000 in a year, they start charging you extra fees, which is bonkers to me. 
I don't wanna to have to pay more because my business is doing well. That just doesn't make any sense. And in full honesty, Big Commerce is the same price as Shopify, but I think Shopify is way better. Now, before we talk about WooCommerce, which is the most popular e-commerce platform out there, though not necessarily the best e-commerce platform out there, we do have to talk about Magento. And Magento is one of those e-commerce platforms that used to be really popular. And the good thing about Magento is it's fully customizable, but that's really the only pro for Magento. The negative side of Magento is it's very technical, it's very hard to work with, and you're gonna need to hire a designer. Now, I get a lot of negative comments because I'm not a fan of Magento, but most of these comments come from developers in third world countries that want to get hired to develop for Magento. But I don't know any e-commerce entrepreneurs that are still using Magento. I think it was something that used to be a good platform, but it's just not that good of a platform anymore. And that brings us to WooCommerce. Now, we still have three more platforms, Amazon, Etsy, and eBay, but WooCommerce is one of those platforms I get asked about all the time. And to be honest with you, I think it's actually a really good platform. Now, the first pro for WooCommerce is that it's free. Kind of. Now the truth is WooCommerce is a free plugin to WordPress. Now to get hosting for a WordPress website does actually cost some money, but it's relatively inexpensive at around five to six dollars a month. I personally use and recommend SiteGround for my WooCommerce hosting, and there is a link in the description down below with like a huge discount if you do wanna go with SiteGround. And I did do a full comparison testing all the different hosting platforms and SiteGround won, that's why I put the link down below. So the first pro is that it's free. The next pro is that it's the most popular e-commerce platform. So there is a lot of plugins, but the reason it's the most popular e-commerce platform is because it's free. And the truth is it is relatively easy to set up a WooCommerce website. I did do a full tutorial explaining how to do that. I still think it's easier to set up a Shopify website versus a WooCommerce website, but it's pretty user friendly. But if you really want your website to look good and perform a lot of functions, you're probably gonna need to hire a designer or a developer to do some more of the technical stuff. Another issue with WooCommerce is that it's very piecemeal, meaning if you want added functionality, you're gonna have to pay for it. You're gonna have to pay for all the different apps and add-ons. So even though it's free, the costs do add up very quickly. And another con with WooCommerce is there can be security issues. There seems to be way more security issues with WooCommerce websites than Shopify websites. And this is because all the different apps and all the different integrations are a lot more vulnerable on a WordPress website than they are with Shopify. But still, overall, WooCommerce is a great platform. Now, I am gonna be announcing the winner for which e-commerce platform you should build your online store with in just a minute, but I wanna quickly go over the last three e-commerce platforms, Amazon, eBay, and Etsy. Now, the pros with all of these is they already have a lot of customers. When you're building your own website, it's actually very tough to get customers to your website. But the benefit of eBay, Amazon, and Etsy is they already have people that are going to their website every day. And so if you list your product on any of these platforms, you're more likely to get sales because people are already there looking for your products. But for cons for these platforms, they do usually have high fees. To sell on Amazon, they take 15% and even a little bit more if you use their FBA program, which I'll explain in just a minute. And for eBay and Etsy, the fees vary, but it's a decent chunk of your profit. They can also kick you off of their platform at any time. And that's the downside of selling on Amazon, eBay, or Etsy. It's not your website, it's not your platform. You're playing in someone else's sandbox, and if they wanna kick you out, they can. But I will say, out of these three platforms, Amazon is by far the most powerful. Amazon made up 50% of all e-commerce sales last year. Amazon is a $1.6 trillion company and they have millions upon millions of customers. And here's the crazy thing. Out of every sale that happens on Amazon, two thirds of them, 66%, are made by third-party sellers. That's people like you and me selling on the Amazon platform. And Amazon FBA is one of the best ways I know to build a legitimate passive income business. Because the thing with Amazon FBA is you send any product you're trying to sell into the Amazon warehouse. And when you get a sale, they pick it, pack it, and ship it out for you. Meaning you could be traveling the world or doing whatever you want. You don't have to be doing the shipping yourself. And Amazon FBA is how I grew my passive income business that's done over a million dollars in sales. And I, I did a video talking in depth about how I did that. But that leads us to the big question. So which of these platforms should you use? Should you go with Amazon or should you build your own website? And my answer is do both. I think Amazon is a great place to start and you could leverage 
all the opportunity that's there, but you're still gonna wanna build your own website because there's always a chance that Amazon kicks you off. And even if Amazon doesn't ever kick you off, it's just good to have an extra source of income. So that brings us to the whole point of this video, which e-commerce platform should you use? And if I had to narrow it down to just two, it would be either Shopify or WooCommerce. And they both have their own pros and cons. And which one you should use really depends about how serious you're gonna be about your online store. I'd say if you're looking to do over $10,000 a month in sales, go with Shopify. They're way more professional, it's way easier to set up, they have way more apps and integrations, and overall, it's just a really good platform. You really do get what you pay for. But on the other side, WooCommerce is great if money is tight. If you maybe just wanna build an online store just to test it out, and you're not sure how serious you're gonna be. And the truth is, you can always upgrade to Shopify later, and WooCommerce is a relatively beginner-friendly platform, but you may need to learn a little bit of HTML or CSS to really get the full capabilities out of it. And as I mentioned with WooCommerce, you do have to pay for hosting, but I've got the hookup. I've got a link up here and down below with discounted prices for you with SiteGround hosting, which is, in my opinion, is one of the best ways to host your WooCommerce website. I also have links up here and down below for Shopify, a free 14-day trial. And if you use any of my links down below in the description, I'll give you my condensed down e-commerce course for free. All you gotta do is use my links down below or up here. And if you're still unsure about WooCommerce or Shopify and which one you should use, I did a video right here that goes into depth and it'll help you decide which of these platforms is best for you. But my biggest piece of advice is get started today. This is such a prime opportunity to start an online store. People are starting to shop more and more online. And if you have a product that you wanna sell, you should get on it right now. So click on the links down below, start your online store today. Remember to enjoy the journey and to use my links down below, not only to get that discount, but to also get my e-commerce course for free. Thanks for watching.